In this video, we're going to be looking over this Minolta Freedom 3 35mm film camera that comes with these uh, telephoto and close-up adapters and manual. And so, in order to, to uh, test this out, I have a scrap roll of film and a set of batteries. These do not come with it. And my purpose in making this video is to first just demonstrate the condition of this camera here and uh, hopefully show you all the things that you would want to see if you could have it in your own hands to check it over. But also, uh, just in case somebody out there has this camera and wants to know a little bit more about the function and wants to see one in action, hopefully this video will be a little bit helpful. So, in order to get started, we're going to load these batteries. We've got four AAA batteries, and we're going to open up the battery compartment. And now we can see the battery terminals are all very nice and clean, and they are down inside as well. I don't know how well that shows, but uh, I can see they're very clean. Lots of these cameras had batteries that leaked in them, and so uh, they're in tough shape now, and this one does not suffer from any of those problems. So we'll just load these batteries according to the little uh, pictures in there to get them in the right way. Yeah, okay. And then, now that the batteries are loaded, we can go around the back here and uh, open up the film door. And before we put the film in, let's just look at this. Everything looks like it's uh, made to made up nicely. There's there's some foam here I see, and around the film window and back in in there a little bit. But it, it looks and feels to me like it's in good condition. It's not sticky or, or uh, deteriorating. So I think this camera is going to uh, work just fine with the light seals that it has. I've got this scrap roll of film, and this is an old piece of beat up film that's been used many times. But I'm going to get that tail into that end there. And then we're just going to close this door. And we hear it wind a few frames up to picture number one. And so now if I turn it on by pulling this cover forward, it shows the prime uh, 28 millimeter, no, that's a 35 millimeter f2.8 lens. So it's a fairly fast lens. It's a nice one. And a little screen here with some indicators here. Self timer, forest flash, not sure quite what all these are. I haven't read all the instructions. But uh, anyway, we'll test out some of the things here. So if I just point this here like that, and we shoot the, the uh, shutter off, I could see it in there actuating. We'll do that one more time. Then if we set this for the timer mode, there's a little timer indicator right there. And now we'll just set this out here like this. And we'll just point this at us, and then we can see the little red light right here, and it'll start blinking and eventually complete its cycle. And there it did. Uh, then we're going to check out the forest flash. Now we know that the camera did not naturally flash in this environment, but now we're forcing it to. And it certainly did. And one thing I notice about this is every time that you set a mode on here, whether it be self-timer, force flash, or whatever, it always reverts back to this after it finishes. So if you want to do that again, you have to do that. What we're going to do now, though, is leave it on automatic flash. And we're just going to point this here at us. But I'm going to turn off my lights here so the camera is going to have to adjust to the new conditions. And it's very dark here. So now it should flash. And it did. So it's, it's sensing the light levels and, and making it flash when it needs to. I think there's only about one more exposure on this little scrap of film. So, okay, there are three winding. See it winding back down to one and zero. Okay. So now it's stopped at the zero, and so we can open the back of the camera up again, and the film has wound back into the cartridge. 
At this point I'm going to close the camera. I'm going to take these batteries out since they're not part of the sale. But uh, that is, uh, that's an overview of this camera. It has the uh, the pad here for the shoulder strap and it's got the Minolta name on it. And it comes with the manual. And the manual uh, has some wear to it. There's some other brochures and stuff in here. Uh, one of the things that it has is a registration card. And it's nice that the serial number on the registration card matches the serial number on the bottom of the camera. So this has always been together. And then there's a couple more accessories and those are the uh, this is the close-up attachment. It has this little case and this little uh, folded up sheet of paper that describes how to use it. But basically what you do is when when the camera is open like that and you have to flip this out the back and then just hook this end right in there and flip this down and then it's got its own little lens cap for that and it puts some optics here in front of your lens to make it focus more closely and there's some some kind of optics here that works with the autofocus as well and then there's this extension out here that puts this diffuser in front of the flash. And I'm sure that's just to cut down on the amount of light out of the flash on a close-up subject. And that's something that you'd want. I should point out that there is a little, um, there's indication that this has been broken off and re-glued. You can see this crack right here. Let's see if that will show in the video right there. And if I take this off, we can see on the back here that that it's been re-glued here. So um, it seems fully functional, but that has been re-glued. It has the cap that often would be lost, and the instructions, and that goes right back in this case like that. And then similarly, there is this telephoto adapter, also with a cap, also with an instruction sheet and it also loads onto the camera in the same way. Hook there, snap that down around the back and it puts different optics here in front of the lens and also in front of the autofocus and so that can come off and go in its little case. So all in all, it's a fairly nice little outfit uh, uh, of the Minolta Freedom 3 35mm camera with accessory auxiliary lenses and manual and some paperwork.